For traders that have emailed and asked, the links for the free downloads are in the description box below. Just click on the link or copy and paste and put that in your browser. The four-step method to high performance trading and the seven-step daily routine for high performance traders create the rituals, the mindset, and the winning attitude to master the markets. Bulletproof yourself with your daily routine and your habits. Force yourself to be getting better, 1% better every single day. How good can you get, traders? Again, the free downloads, the links are down below. They're both free courses. Let's get started. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Just a short video reviewing gold trade this morning, Thursday. Coming back and just looking at the template for the week initially. Monday, again, uh, inside bar, that was the Labor Day weekend Monday. But coming in, just looking at our 100 pit box, we'll go in more depth into the 100 pit boxes in the next few videos. But coming back to the understanding that Monday, Tuesday form our initial balance, we have consolidation down at level one in our 100 pit box on the Monday, the holiday. So the market's trapping volume in a narrow range on the holiday before going vertical out of level one out of level one going vertical in the Asian session day two triggering breakout traders triggering longs into the market but also going 25 to 50 pips outside of the 100 pip box before reversing in our Asian session peak formations into double zeros break in structure pushing back up into the high of Asia, that lower high, and again, you'll notice trapping volume in the upper box in the 100 pip box. So we have a false break, peak formation high, beginning of the week, trapping volume in that upper level into the beginning of the session, break in structure, and then we begin the march down on day two. So high of day opportunity in the London session on day two. And by the way, I had a trader mention the, they found that the day count is meaningless. Uh, I tend to differ and disagree. If you understand the day count, you'll understand the session trades. We begin the march down day two high day opportunity and then the low hanging fruit trade into the U.S. session. And again, you'll notice a false break below the quarter level trapping volume peak formation into 50 for the low hanging fruit continuation short trade. So remember day one was an inside bar. They take out the high of the previous week. They trigger longs on the inside bar breakout. We know that traders who are long on the inside bar have stops below that bar. Follow the money. But we also break down into a new 100 pip box and put a peak formation up into the double zeros. So again, peak formation, one level of 100, two levels of 100. The market continues to fall. And at the end of the session again, consolidating volume in that lower 25 pip box. This was a short trade that I took. Traders asked me they were waiting for a break in structure. Again, you will not get a break in structure in a trend trade. That is a high of the day, low of the day opportunity. We have stops under Thursday's low, sorry, Friday's low and Thursday's peak formation US session shorts. So again, a vertical move continuing on day three, which is the second day now for longs or sorry, shorts to be triggered in the market. Remember, we have a break of Monday's low. That's the triggering shorts into the market. We get a break of Tuesday's low triggering day two shorts into the market. And we know that they have stops above the high of the day. The market proceeds to work down into that peak formation low. So again, whenever you can identify a consolidation of blocked volume, 
The breakout of that is the manipulation. In most cases, we break out to the upside at the high of the week. We break out to the downside at the low of the week. And the reversal starts in the Europe-London window. So Asia puts a peak formation low in place. And we begin the march back up in the Europe-London session on day three. Three-day setup. Day one, day two, day three. High of the week. Low of the week. The market breaks back up above our double zero box. Three levels of drop. And in that third level, we have three levels of 25 before reversing and breaking structure back inside of our double zero box on day three. Peak formation high, trapping shorts at the beginning of the U.S. 12 candle window. Again, paying attention to our double zero box. They go 25 pips below the double zeros before reversing a 25 pip stop hunt into the longs from London below the double zero box after the breakout pullback, break in structure, and again the V formation for the dump and pump setup on day three, low of the week. US session, the dump and pump reversal, three day setup which brings us back up to the high of the week. Traders who saw that opportunity saw the high of the week get taken out in the gap in the hour prior to the 12 candle window. We are three levels of rise. We've gone into the new 100 pip box and gone 25, 50, 75 pips taking out the high of the week. We have our high bull locked in. The breakdown and pull back the break in structure in the first 15 minutes, the pull back up into 50 into our peak formation and the inside bar short with a one bar stop for the continuation move back down into the longs from the London session. Again, a one bar stop. Traders uh, may ask, why didn't you get up in up here? Why didn't you get in on the pullback? Because at this stage, I need to see that market. The high is locked in. My thesis is that it's locked in. They break structure. They pull back. There is no it's, it's a 50 pip drop from 25 to 75. Getting in at 50 is an option. In this particular trade, I decided to as it came down on the inside bar, I shorted that. It's a one bar stop. I'm getting filled above the quarter. I still have 50 pips of room to target that. It's a 65 pip target and a 20 pip stop. So day four after our weekly template in gold. If you master the, the templates and understand the initial balance, the 100 pip boxes, the levels, the timings, the trade setups, will make sense. Keep it simple traders. Have a great session. It's been a great week. We've had tons of movement. Yesterday was a massive day on oil. Uh, keep it simple and have a great day.